that there's a God in heaven who looks down upon okay. you. Okay. Right, please, and please, please consider this. All please call out for you. That's why Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And please, please pass, put your faith pass my, like, amazing thanks to that man. Please, to God, please, not to please, 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 He's not Jesus being shown out and it's not fair. Today. So, thank you, much, thank, you thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was the nail that held Jesus Christ to the cross. It was the love for his people. You can put him on the cross. My friend, Jesus. <laughs> Did not die. He's as much offended as, as the, uh, the other people so going against him. You know what I mean? I don't really believe, but I don't think it's right that people are. Yeah. It's hard. She's obviously drunk. It's, 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 it's obviously read the Bible a little bit. You know what I mean? Somewhere along the line. But it's not to hope God saves him. Because he had to save you from the sin that you live in. Hey, man. Hey, uh, Michael. 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 My friends, trust me. Michael, check this camera. He's micing me. Got someone on his camera? Poor Mike. I was going to get that, that drunk guy away from our camera over there. I'll do it. I'll take care of it. Hang out here. There he's got it. Jesus is the only way to God. My friend. No, if you get a, a modern French Bible and translate it into English, there will be errors. Name one. God. Give me an example. I don't have my Bible on me. Well, give me an example. You're, you're so confident that the Bible's got errors. Just give me one. You are so confident that the Bible's wrong. You have got to have at least one evidence for this. Seriously. I am, I'm sorry that I don't have I honestly don't have it on me. I can tell you one. Okay. One error in the Bible. Okay. Adam disobeyed God. That was Adam's error, not God's. Okay. That's, that's a little pun. I'm just kind of messing with you. Okay. Yeah. That Adam, Adam made an error. He disobeyed God. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you believe in Adam's first wife? Eve? His first wife. Eve. No, no. His first wife. Eve, dude. No, no. Eve. no. Who is she then? Tell me about her. What, was her name? what does she look like? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what she looks like. Do you like. find this on the History Channel or what? Where, where are you getting all this stuff, man? The Discovery from Channel. The, from oh, the what? Jewish Bible. I'm Paul, by the way. Oh, Paul. I'm Andrew. Andrew. Nice Andrew. talk to you. This is Monty. Hey, Andrew. Monty. That's a good one. Yeah. All my friends know me as Wiki. What? Wiki. Wiki? Her name was Wiki? No, my name is Wiki. Wiki. Oh. My nickname is Wiki. Oh, okay, okay. Every, everyone knows me as Wiki. So okay, it's like Adam and Wiki? That's like no, 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 no. It's, uh, what does the Jewish Bible say? I'm trying to remember. You know, you know, you know. I could, you could, I could give, I could give our Bible to a Jewish person, and they would love the Old Testament. They wouldn't like the New Testament, but they would agree with the Old Testament. They would agree with the Book of Moses. Okay. They'd look at Adam and Eve, and they'd agree with that. I'm trying to remember her name. I am on it. Oh, it is so important. I would remember her name like that, man. Lilith. 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 She's referred to as the uh, a, a crow or a raven in the in the modern translation. That's actually no. That's actually a Wiccan thing. The Wiccans came up with, and it's the serpent seed theory. Is that what you're talking about? Lilith was Adam's first wife, and the reason based on who though? Is it based on Jewish belief? It is the Jew I, from what I recall. It's the Jewish belief. Yes. I don't think it is. And it's that she was she wanted to be dominant during intercourse, so God cast her out, and she became the basis for the the vampires. She was the Judean Christian vampire, and she fed on the blood of. Children. Uh, that sounds wicked to me, man. I don't, that's yeah, not no, Jewish. <laughs> yeah, it is. No way it's Jewish. Yeah, it no way. Seriously, I think that's a wicked thing, but I may be wrong. It, it's still based I'm on the I'm very willing to admit when it's, I'm wrong. It's, I don't know the answer. It sounds paganish. I admit when I'm wrong as well. It sounds paganish, you know. Pagan has nothing to do with Christianity. Huh? You know, I don't know. I know, exactly. And Lilith being that, no, no, Lilith, Lilith, I have a hard time believing Lilith, Jews would even believe that. Lilith and Adam were created at the same time. I don't have any evidence. Then, when they cast her out of heaven, he created Eve out of Adam from his rib. Because Adam was fine, but Lilith was bad. So he thought, if Lilith is good, I will create a woman from Adam. So, what happened to Lilith? She was cast out. Where? Cast out of uh, uh, Eden? Where'd she go? What's the point, in other words? 
she, she was punished because she wanted to be dominant. And God favored man over woman. You have to say, through the Bible, God favors man over woman. Well, actually, it puts women in a negative light. Actually, it doesn't put them in a negative light. It puts them in the light that God described. And here's what I say. Listen yeah, to this. That, I'm just saying that that appears to be negative. I'm well, not, I'm not yeah, it does. Yeah. Jesus, Edward, Jesus actually, I mean, through the New Testament, you'll see in Ephesians, for example, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. Right. Okay, yes, there's places where it says, wives, you should also, you know, be submissive to your husband, but that doesn't mean let him dominate you. It means God has a... God oh, has man. a divine that way of you, my friend. That loving his one. people. It's not a yeah. Meaning he is not God and we're not. He says that husbands should love their wives do. just like Jesus Christ loved the church repent. and that we should give that ourselves up for our wives just like Jesus, Jesus gave himself up for the body of Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Um, right. That's a big difference because that's a love thing, not a dominance thing. God. And that's just a sidebar. You know. yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, seriously, how, how much... How good? How much Let's love would you go. feel toward a person? Let's say you stole a car and you got caught. I would never. Stole a car. Oh, okay. Just, just play, play along. Hypothetical. Yeah. Hypothetical. Yeah. I'm preaching up here. Let's say that you, you stole talk, a car. You can talk. Yeah. I was up there. Ran over somebody and killed them, and you did it deliberately. Yeah, it was a hypothetical. Hypothetical. Yeah, hypothetical. Yeah, hypothetical. And you got caught. You took it to the judge, yeah. and the judge yeah. says, "Okay, it's a million dollar fine or life in prison." When you look, no, no, no. And then, hold on. What you're going to say is Jesus pays a million dollar fine. I understand. Scotland, he said, what I'm getting at is, what would you think about the person that did that? They are a bad person. No, the person or they are mentally ill. Right. The person that took the place Don't of another. They are, they are good people. They are a nice right. person. Right. That's what I'm talking about. The Bible says that's what Jesus Christ did for us. No, he was talking about some Jewish belief. About Lula, the supposed first wife. I haven't heard of that. He did not take care of people who were going to die. He did it for everyone who had died. No, no. Jesus being God, he is transcendental of time and space. He assumed earthly body. And the Philippians even says, Jesus, Though he existed in the form of God, did not consider equality with God as something to be used for his advantage, but he humbled himself, being obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Jesus did not relinquish his godhood to become a man. He simply deliberately took the form of a man and did not use his equality with God to be used for his own advantage. He took the form of a man to allow himself to be killed on a cross for our sins and our transgressions, including for those who would ever believe in him. Not just those who look forward to his promises, but all who would believe. The Bible says that God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance and faith in Christ. So everyone, everyone who believes in Jesus is saved. Everyone who repents and puts their trust in Jesus Christ as their Lord is completely is saved. That's what the Bible says. So that Protestants and Catholics and anyone who says Mormons, all that people. Here's the thing, though. Anyone who puts their faith in Christ alone, yes. if people still have their faith in something other than Jesus, they're not fully trusting in Jesus. And that's, for example, Mormons. Mormons don't say Jesus saves you. They say, you do your best and Jesus right. does the rest. God. That's what they so say. Well, that's but see, that's what, that's, silly. That, it is silly, but that's yeah. what they think. Okay, well, unfortunately, the Catholic Church, without saying it explicitly, teaches something very similar. That if you continue to keep the sacraments, continue to do these things, and do these rituals, and do this, and the priest prays for you, and all the right deeds, in Jesus, you'll be saved. Even in America, the Church of Christ, they say that your you baptism that saves you. But, 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 but the Bible but says the baptism is just a symbol. Your baptism, your baptism your reminds you of original sin. No, no, no. The thing. Even that is simply a symbol of what Jesus does. Water doesn't save a man from hell. The Bible actually says baptism simply shows your, your faith toward Christ. Like my wedding ring doesn't make me marry. No, it's your, my, it's your faith in it's your my, love and your wife. My allegiance to my wife and our love for each other is what makes me marry. This is an outward symbol of an inward commitment. Okay. The thing is, if our heart is fully tuned toward Christ because we know He alone can save us, He promises, number one, that His sheep will hear His voice. In other words, those are Jesus Christ calls, will listen, and that all that he calls will come to him, and that those who come to him, he will never cast out. you will be glorified. you will be glorified.
Christ would come to give life. The resurrection people would come to him in the last days, and they would say to him, Lord, Lord. So they're calling God. They're calling Lord. They're calling Lord. What did they say? We did all these works in your name. We performed miracles. We cast out demons. And we did it in your name. But Jesus said, I never knew you. You were of wickedness. He said they never turned from their sin. They never turned from their wickedness. They trusted in their good deeds in Jesus' name. In other words, they said, you do your best, Jesus does the rest. But that's foolish because that's saying Jesus' death alone wasn't enough. But Jesus himself on the cross said, it is finished. Jesus sealed it right there on the cross, but he said, it is finished, meaning the debt is paid. In other words, God's plan of salvation, plan from the beginning of time, was finished, and it was completed in Jesus Christ. Those who look forward to the promise receive the salvation of the promise. Those who look back to the promise receive the salvation of the promise. The of the promise. The of the promise. The it's Christ. You know, that's the center of the Bible. Not the physical the center. I mean, it's the center of the theme of the Bible. Yeah, you know what I mean? And that's why we're here. You tell people, you can't trust in anything but Jesus. Can't give you time right now. No, I mean, does that make sense why we're saying this? I understand why you're saying it. I, I know you may not believe it, but no, I understand why you're saying it. Go ahead, man. Think about the eternity. Think about your death. Don't worry, it's not, it's not for that reason. Oh, sure. No, I understand. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. No, I understand. I know. Women in America, they don't dress that bad. I mean, they do. I mean, they dress pretty bad, but that's, that's just sad. That's just sad. That's just sad. That's just sad. It's terrible. I saw, I saw, I saw a girl walking along, and the, her shirt, her skirt was so short, her heels were so high she couldn't walk. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Even I, even I, even I they were, they were, they were nothing here. Actually, laying themselves and almost crippling themselves I know. to look right in another man's sight. Guys. You wear what you want to wear out here, man. But the girls, they like to wear as little as possible to pick up a man. And it's just, it's pitiful. Are you from, are you from here? Yeah. Is there, is there a lot of homosexuality here? Hey, I'm going to run you a drink real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm back. Yeah. It's good talking to you. Cool. It seems like there war. There is. I noticed it a lot. It's a gay club over there, I think. Okay. No, I didn't know if it was like pretty common. There's a lot of, there's quite a bit. Compared to other places. I, I suppose I'm drunk this city, yeah. Men, yeah. And we yeah, in the city, I'm fine. Oh, well. I'm not gay myself. No.